morning. There's a sense of peace here. A sense of home. A sense that God's country is not just a southern expression, but something much more. Every day is a gift. Every day that I get up to and free and my home is a gift. Here in her serene corner of rural Tennessee, where Don Navat lives her small slice of the simple life, an almost unimaginable reality from the maelstrom that the 38-year-old former nurse has lived through. Do you feel like you were a scapegoat? I think the whole world feels like I was a scapegoat. There's a fine line between blame and responsibility. Nothing is done in a vacuum. The trial begins for a former nurse at Vanderbilt Medical Center accused of administering a fatal dose of the wrong medication. For the past five years, Redonda Vaught has faced the fight of her life. A former intensive care unit nurse who in 2017 accidentally gave the wrong drug to a patient, Charlene Murphy, causing her to lose her life. A tragic mistake, but what followed was a whirlwind that surprised many. Criminal charges and a conviction for an accident. We, the jury, find the defendant, Redonda Leanne Vault, guilty of criminally negligent homicide. Tonight, the nurse at the center of it all. Have you played this over and over and over in your head? Every day, so many times, over and over and over. And we went from healthcare heroes to sacrificial lambs. The nationwide fight for change from the frontline workers fearing they could be next. Almost every nurse has had a medication error of some sort. That could be any one of us. Did you like being a nurse? Yeah, you have this, this purpose to take care of them. Um, and you just want to do the very best you can. It can take a lifetime for someone to find their purpose. By 2017, Redonda Vaught knew that she had found hers in the Neurological Intensive Care Unit at Vanderbilt Medical Center in Nashville. It's Christmas time, 2017. Elderly woman named Charlene Murphy is admitted into the hospital for a brain injury. She's treated, soon ready to be released, but needs a final scan before she can be sent home, which requires her to have a sedative because she was nervous about the scan. You're the nurse that's now called in to help. When did you realize something went wrong? Uh, it wasn't until she had been brought back to our unit as an intensive care patient um, and a, a code had been called in the PET scan area where she was. Redonda was supposed to give Charlene a sedative, verse it. Instead, she accidentally administered a powerful paralyzing drug, Becuronium, a catastrophic mistake, which caused Charlene severe brain damage. Her primary nurse had approached me and showed me the, the vial of medication and asked, is this what you give her? And it wasn't until that time that I realized that it was the wrong medication that I had given her. At 75, Charlene would die from that fatal dose. When you saw the vial and you read what was on the vial, I mean, what goes through your head? That, your heart goes through the floor. Um. <laughs> You just, oh, you can't even imagine. Vanderbilt fired Redonda, but what came next shook her to her core. After multiple investigations, her nursing license revoked and the National District Attorney charged Redonda with reckless homicide and abuse of an impaired adult in 2019. Those words. I... Reckless. Reckless. Reckless homicide and abuse. That's heavy. The prosecution basing its case on what they say were 18 egregious actions and inactions that killed Charlene Murphy. Among them, they argue, was overriding the system used to obtain drugs and ignoring a warning directly on the vial cap. We had had to use the override function to obtain medications. This was like a normal part of your routine, having to hit override. Oh, you couldn't. You couldn't obtain an IV fluid without hitting the override button. 
Vaughn admitted she was distracted that day because she was escorting a trainee. Anytime you have an additional responsibility, that responsibility can be distracting. I allowed myself to split my focus. But Vaughn's attorneys argued that her fatal mistake was made possible by systemic errors involving the hospital's pharmacy, which allowed nurses to routinely override safeguards. A 56-page federal investigative report following Murphy's death also outlined deficiencies found at the hospital. So many things had to line up incorrectly for this error to have happened. And my actions were not alone in that. We're not talking about an intentional act. We're not talking about a nurse trying to kill a patient. A medical error to lead to a criminal charge, and in particular, a charge of homicide. That's a very, very rare. I can't think of another recent instance where it has occurred. Neither the medical center nor anyone else associated with it face criminal consequences for the incident. ABC News reached out to Vanderbilt Medical Center, but they declined to comment. Following a federal investigation, the hospital submitted a corrective plan of action to address some of the findings included in the report. Who's responsible in what happened here? I mean, I, I don't, nobody wants to point a finger. That's not what you're supposed to do in healthcare. You don't point your finger and blame someone. You hold yourself accountable as a part of a team and you say, what could I have done better? What could we have done better? I'm responsible for what I failed to do. In March of this year, the jury returned a guilty verdict on the lesser charge of criminally negligent homicide and on the abuse charge. Redonda faced up to eight years in prison. Let's not forget that Redonda's freedom is at stake. It really is the straw that broke the camel's back after everything nurses have been through the last two plus years. Now to be charged criminally and convicted, why would anybody want to be a nurse now? A firestorm spread across the country. A change.org petition calling for clemency for Vought garnered more than 200,000 signatures. The American Nursing Association saying it was deeply distressed by this verdict and the harmful ramifications of criminalizing the honest reporting of mistakes and that the case set a dangerous precedent. All this a spark in an already vulnerable healthcare system on the brink of collapse. We'll spend an entire 12 hour shift not going to the bathroom, not eating, not drinking enough water. You get to the end of the day and you're just mentally, emotionally and physically exhausted. The system is set up to make it easy for us to make a mistake like this. Nurses Tina and Erica came together to form a support group for Redonda. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. This is a public safety issue. I don't want to live in a world where if I go to a hospital, the nurses and doctors that are going to be taking care of me would be afraid to speak up if they made a mistake. While Vought's performance fell below what the uh, profession kind of aims for, uh, to say that if you were to make an error like this, you would face a homicide charge and possibly years in prison would cause a lot of those people to reconsider whether to stay a nurse or whether to become a nurse. All rise. At her sentencing this month, Redonda making a heartfelt apology. I would like to apologize to this Murphy's family, first of all. She will never be lost in my mind. She will always remind me every day of what I need to do to be better as a person. Murphy's family grieving and expressing their lost relative's wishes. We forgive her. My mother-in-law would want her to be forgiven. And jail time is not an option to me for her. Court therefore finds that judicial diversion is appropriate. Redon Devant was sentenced to three years supervised probation. ABC News reached out to the family of Charlene Murphy and they declined an interview at this time. I will always carry her with me and if I can if I can affect a positive change I'm gonna do that it is heart-wrenching to know that Miss Murphy and her family 
were so horrifically let down. They are the patient and the family that will live with me the most. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.